Okay, so this video is going to be about strain wave gears and harmonic drives. Um, so as you guys know, I'm pretty into SCARA, like SCARA arms and SCARA robots. Um, and in order to make them at the large scales that I enjoy making them at, uh, you kind of need a very large reduction um, just in order to get the precision that you need. Um, and one of my new slash future slash past projects that I've worked on is a harmonic drive that can be 3D printed. So currently harmonic drives are very expensive, especially to your average consumer. Um, and they don't really fit into the hobbyist uh, kind of realm. So it's almost impossible to achieve a low backlash um, as a hobbyist build. And that's really important in making like 3D printed robots, like a six axis arm, or in my case, a SCARA arm. So as you can see by the diagram on screen, you have something called a strain wave generator in the middle of the harmonic drive. And as that spins, it pushes the teeth of the flex spline into the circular spline, which is on the outside. And this kind of creates that, um, that wedge pushing the drive forwards. So this is a very efficient way to create a very high reduction ratio in a very compact size. Um, and due to its complexity and difficulty to make, um, I decided that it would be a good idea, along with Nicholas Seward, who uh, you may have heard of um, his work in the RepRap community. Uh, we've kind of been working together slash apart on a harmonic drive design. So as you see here on screen in Fusion 360, uh, this is the current harmonic drive design. And it has a drive ratio of negative 204.75 uh, to 1. So that means for every time that the motor spins, in this case, it is a NEMA 17 pancake motor attached to a 20 tooth GT2 gear. Every time that spins uh, 204 times, basically, uh, this output gear here, which is in red, uh, will spin one time. And due to the inherent nature of harmonic drives, um, they have almost virtually no backlash because of the way that the, the teeth mesh inside of the drive itself. So this design uh, takes inspiration from some of my previous designs or of harmonic drives being 3D printed, um, but they ended up not working due to uh, too much friction and having too great of a diameter. Uh, for a small NEMA motor to push. This takes my main harmonic drive idea that I had years ago and mixes it uh, with Nicholas's uh, idea of having the strain wave generator connected to a NEMA motor uh, through a belt and pulley system, uh, which will increase the torque uh, that the motor can produce, which will hopefully drive the um, harmonic drive. And it will uh, increase the gearing ratio. So the way that this currently works um, is you obviously have your drive gear here on the NEMA 17 motor, and then you have your strain wave generator here, uh, which is 126 teeth, so the gear ratio there is 126 over 20. Um, and then inside here, uh, if I get rid of the hardware, uh, the belts, so as you can see here, these are kind of the three main pieces that you need um, to print for this harmonic drive. So you have the blue piece, which is the circular spline, and it is the outside piece, which has um, the greatest number of teeth. So in this case, it has 67 teeth. And then you have the red piece, which I call it the flex spline, um, but the it's actually not the flex spline because of the way you 3D print it. You have an intermediary belt, um, this belt inside, uh, which, which is the thing that actually does the moving. So, so if you look at the cross section of the strain wave generator or harmonic drive, it looks fairly complex at first. Um, but for a harmonic drive, this is actually fairly, um, 
simple uh just based on like the general uh inner workings of a harmonic drive so one of the cool things about this design is that there are flanges on the flex spline this red piece and on the strain wave generator this green piece so this m8 bolt com provides compression uh, to pull these two pieces into these 6 8 14 bearings which holds everything together so the only actual bolts that you need to hold the main assembly together is this bolt here this lock nut and this bearing and that squeezes the entire um, drive together and lets it function and then if you look at the other side view here uh, you can see uh, the 625 bearings and the um, mechanism holding them to the strain wave generator. So currently for this design, I have everything ordered for it. Um, what is cool about this is that I have used the McMaster car libraries in Fusion 360 to create a full bill of materials. So here you can see all of the hardware needed. Um, and there will be a list that I'll export once I finish it and after it goes through uh, real world testing um, to make sure that it like actually functions. So this design is currently only able to work with 6, 8, 10 bearings. Um, and I don't plan on making a parametric version of this. Um, but my friend Nicholas uh, Seward, as I mentioned earlier in the video, uh, he's making another version of this. Um, he's going to be coming out with his own tests and videos uh, about the harmonic drive as well. Um, and uh, I'm excited to see those and what he comes up with. So what I plan on doing is figuring out a way to directly mount this harmonic drive into one of my SCARA arms uh, in order to provide the drive mechanism and the rotational axis of the arm. So if you look at this design here, which is my most current design um, of my SCARA arm, uh, this one is much larger than my previous one, just based on like full size because I need to be more rigid. Um, you would replace this gear here. You would um, replace this whole, this whole top piece here um, with this drive assembly, and you would just have the arm piece kind of coming out in a line in this direction and then that would connect to a second drive here which would then derive the distal arm uh, and the wrist would be the same and that would just kind of allow for a direct drive mechanism uh, without the step down belts and such that i have in my current uh, designs and would just make everything a lot simpler um, but overall i hope people can take um like the insights from this uh, harmonic drive specifically designed to be 3D printed uh, and use them in their own projects because nothing has really been available uh, in the 3D printing RepRap community that kind of has the capabilities and form factors of this. Uh, so I hope the video was informational and you kind of understood what was going on. Um, I'm going to be creating some update videos on this uh, on my big scar arm printers, um, and just generally cool things that I've been doing uh, during lockdown and quarantine. So subscribe if you want to stay up to date. I don't know, comment if you want. Uh, no, it's a... So subscribe if you want to stay up to date. Comment if you want to comment anything. Um, and have a good day. I hope you learned something.